Um, what do you think about polygamy and relationships? Remember this, Wusaba is a culture, it's a way of life, and it's a complete way of life. That means it governs everything we do as a people, and that will include anything to do with relationships, etc. So, um, a lot of people mistake poly polygony for polygamy, right? Because poly people think polygamy is one man having more than one woman. Um, the thing about that question, again, it all depends on the person and the situation because most men are the one, well, it's not, generally it's most men that would say, you know, what about having more than one woman? In our culture, there are strict rules pertaining to how you get with people in general. And um, in terms of, you know, what's the purpose, what's the reason? Because there are situations where that is something that would work for that family, you know. So, for example, um, if, you know, the, the, the original wife or first um, mate wanted help and needed help or couldn't have children or something and they agreed and de uh, decided to bring on somebody else, um, it's a very strict thing. It's not like in Islam or any other cultures where they say um, you can just, you know, have four wives and as many concubines and as, as you can have. That's not our culture. Um, the same with, you know, even in the, um, in the world today, a lot of people sneak around and they call it creeping. Um, and there are so many problems with not having it in a situation where everyone is aware of what's happening and the first wife has a big say in terms of if you want to bring on another wife. But... Um, it's something that we do practice in our culture and um, there are strict rules as to how that would happen. Uh, most men can't have even deal with one person, let alone multiple partners, because it, you have to be able to support all of them equally in every sense of the word, not just physically, financially, emotionally, etc. But of course, um, there's, there's a shortage in terms of ratio of men to women. And um, in order for the future, our future progeny and you know, generations, you know, because if, let's just give you a little example. If there were 10 men and there were only, um, let me say 100 women, either 10 men will have 10 women and the rest of them, the 90, will go without. Or what will end up happening is what happens in this society where people will lie, cheat, uh, creep around. And it's a thing where it's dealing with a higher level of, 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 of an elevation. So you're not just dealing with it from a, a sexual aspect, meaning that most people don't look at the union of why is it for sexual reproduction? Do you have businesses and you need people to help? Um, you know, there are many reasons, but ultimately it is about what are the reasons, does it make sense? And each family will be involved, all right? So um, it's a very broad question. What do I think about polygamy? It's not about what I think. We have, um, we have scrolls that govern everything in our culture, such as, um, the Lotus of Life by Parna Babyanun, and that goes into relationships. We have Soulmates Partaruk that goes into um, relationships. We, we have many scrolls, the Unclean Issue that goes into relationships. Um, but just search on our website for the different scrolls and ask in class for more information.